Well, good day once again, and uh, this in this presentation, we're going to look at how to write letters. Um, in the past, I've probably been guilty of trying to drag people up to a level uh, a little bit higher and um, kind of ignoring the basics. And so, one of the um, one of the problems I'm trying to address now is that some of you probably need to go to the very basics to to learn how to ask questions and, and write letters to government departments uh, in order to stop them interacting with you and sending you money and sending uh, sending you uh, demands for bills and things like that. So firstly, we need to identify the agency that uh, keep sending you these things could be the tax department could be any one of a, a myriad of different agencies that are sending you stuff and then you will need to identify the act that these people come under identify the head of that agency and then write a letter to the head of that agency so we um, we're going to have a look at the land transport act and see well, I guess if we're going to be writing letters, we need to identify what questions and who we're going to address them to. So the first thing we need to, to look at is, say you do not want to have a driver's license, you need to go to the Land Transport Act 1998. Now, in this act, there's certain things I wish to point out to you that um, you're going to need to know, and this applies to every act. Okay, so this is the first one I want you to draw your attention to, is that this Act is administered by the Ministry of Transport. Now, you've probably uh, picked up in earlier uh, presentations I've done that administered means they're administering a de deceased estate. Now, the deceased estate is the surname, is the straw man, is the entity that you keep stepping up as uh, trustee for. So this Act, the Land Transport Act, is administered by the Ministry of Transport. So you need to go onto the Ministry of Transport website, the same as any other um, Act that you look at. You need to go onto the website of that Ministry and check who the CEO is. It's normally uh, a CEO or a registrar, and in the case of uh, you know birth, deaths, and marriages, and those things, it will be a general, general being the highest rank. So the uh, registrar general will be the one. Now, if you look here at section three, act to bind the crown. Now, once again, in a, a previous video, I've shown you who the crown was. So if the Crown or the entity that acts as the Crown on your behalf is bound, then it must do as it's told or the uh, civil servants running the Crown or administering the Crown must do as they're told. And they must. It's, uh, it's imperative because the whole thing is a fraud anyway. So... Really, there's, there's going to be a few questions in this section here that I want to go through with you. And the same with most of the acts that you're going to be going through. If you want to get freedom from uh, any of these government departments that are acting as agents or administering your trust, you need to find out questions to ask them. Okay, so first one we'll look at is driver. So we'll scroll down here to uh, driver and here we go in relation to a vehicle includes the rider of the motorcycle or moped or bicycle and drive has a corresponding meaning okay now we know from our inclusio maxim <coughs> excuse me includes only means everything that comes after this so a driver means the rider of the motorcycle or moped or bicycle. Driver license means a license to drive that is issued or has effect under this act and includes an endorsement. All right, so let's have a look uh, at vehicle. So we'll scroll down here to vehicle. 
uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, interpretations in this one. Here we go. Vehicle. Uh, vehicle means a contrivance. Now we're gonna, I'm going to show you what that means shortly. Means a contrivance equipped with wheels, tracks, or revolving runners on which it moves or is moved, and includes a hovercraft. <laughs> skateboard inline skates and roller skates okay so a contrivance that's what a vehicle is so you need a license for a contrivance okay now uh, just to add a little bit more um, of a uh, riddle into the puzzle we also have the ministry of transport site plus uh, another website. So we're going to have a look at the Ministry of um, Transport first. The minister for this is the Honourable Michael Wood and the manager is Peter Mercy and the details. Now these are all taken straight from the website so uh, don't take my word for it. Uh, go to the website. There's the link up the top there um, and we're going to start writing a letter. Now in my case I only ever go by my given names because I was only given two names and those are the names I go by whereas the surname or the crown or the uh, the other name was given by the government so I put my family crest up there which designates my um, family and put private because this is not a public document I'll put the date on there and I'll put my details and then their details there, taken directly from the website, and then the salutation, Dear Peter Mercy. Now, as I said, the, the other confusing one was the New Zealand Transport Agency. So there's two different areas here. Now, the manager for the New Zealand Transport Agency, I believe it used to be Land Transport, uh, but now it seems to be New Zealand Transport Agency. Uh, the manager of that is Nicole Rosie. There are her details. Now you may want to send two letters, uh, one to her and one to um, Mercy. Okay, so let's start with the body of the letter. We've got the salutation there. Dear Peter Mercy, my research of the Land Transport Act 1998 administered by the Ministry of Transport has left me confused. Would you kindly clarify below points to assist? I can find no statute or statutory provision to show how and when transport agency was created. Would you kindly direct me to the creation documents? Now, if if they direct you to them, you're going to find out how and when uh, it was created. And there should be a contract, should there not, between us and that transport agency. But I've never signed a contract. So... Number two, if transport agency was created by statute, are its administrators bound to uphold statute? They are. Part two of the Land Transport Act 1998 defines driver in relation to the vehicle as the rider of the motorcycle or moped. Would you confirm that driver does not include someone driving a car or truck? We looked through the, uh, the definitions. And it did not say a car or a truck in that definition. So now this is all going to be on one page, just these few questions to them, which is going to box them into a corner because you may want to do a follow up letter when they don't respond or respond in their normal manner, which is um, subterfuge and uh, they'll throw you, try and throw you off. But Part 2A of the Land Transport Act 1998 defines vehicle as means a contrivance equipped with wheels, tracks or revolving runners on which it moves or is moved. Would you confirm that vehicle does not include a car or automobile? Pretty straightforward sort of question, isn't it? And uh, they would have to answer in the affirmative with that, which I don't think they will. Okay, based on the above, would you confirm that a living being would not need a license? Okay, so a person would, but a living being would not need a license to operate an automobile? Pretty straightforward question, I would have asked. Now, this one here, if you've watched my um, agent principal 
videos, you'll know that asking this question is imperative. Are you, Peter Mercy, an agent of the Crown? Now, he most definitely is an agent of the Crown. So if he's an agent of the Crown, would that not make us the principal in this in this uh, situation so the follow-up letter would include showing him or letting him know that as principal you are now directing him to do certain things or to uh, to give you certain documents to prove who you are now i told you contrivance was a beauty look at that cambridge dictionary contrive artificial and difficult to believe do you think they're taking the mickey here, guys? I think they are. Okay, based on the information that I've just given you there, you may want to look at other acts. And uh, so the particular act you want to research, whatever it may be, maybe um, there's certain words I can't mention here, guys, but um, you may want to look at other acts, income tax acts, or, you know, there's other sort of acts where people keep coming to you and asking for money. So... We're in the Crimes Act now. Uh, go to your legislation, whichever country you're from. Go to the um, legislation, look up the Crimes Act, and we're going to go in here and we're going to type in P E R S O N or person, and we're going to search with this within this act for person, and you'll find it comes up quite a few times. We're going to go down until we get to the interpretation. We'll click on interpretation. And scroll down till we get to person. Now, here it is here. Person or owner. And any other words and expressions of the like kind include the crown and any public body or local authority and any board, society or company and any other body of persons, whether incorporated or not, and the inhabitants of a district of any local authority. So you can see that person is not a living being so when you when you understand those sort of uh, uh, how they're trying to trick us into contract you may want to write letters asking uh, you can see person everywhere here but not a living being okay we'll just go to one more part of this act which i think is really quite important um offenses not to be punishable except under New Zealand Acts. Now, no one shall be convicted of any offence at common law or any other offence against the Act of the Parliament or England and the Parliament of Great Britain or the United Kingdom, provided that nothing in this section shall limit or affect the power or authority of the House of Representatives to punish for contempt. So you can see that the whole Crimes Act is nothing more than a great big act because the only offence that you can be done for is contempt of court. Okay, you cannot be convicted of any offence at common law. Hope that clarifies a few things. Right, moving right along, we come to New Zealand Law Dictionary 8th edition just to reinforce some of the. Um, some of the parts that we've seen in the definitions. Now, person, a human being capable of rights, also called a natural person. Now, a natural person, yeah, I'd still be very wary of that because the second part here, a corporation or legal person, otherwise called an artificial person. The Crimes Act 1961, Section 2, provides that person includes the Crown and any public body or local authority. So going by the inclusio, and I thought I'd better put it back in here because it's been a while since I put this up, but the inclusio unius, uh, I won't I won't bastardize the, um, the lovely Latin language, but the inclusion of one is the exclusion of another. The certain designation of one person is an absolute exclusion of all others. So from includes, Everything that follows includes is the only part of the legislation that matters. So includes the crown. Anything that follows includes there is what a person is. 
Now, once again, now, this is... an alternative method of searching, um, well, certainly here in New Zealand, searching through legislation is to go to this little box here called content. So if we click content and then type in a particular word. Uh, now, if, if you want to type in person, you can do so. But if you want to add another word, always put a plus and then you can add words after it. So you can put as many words in as you like like that. So you can search for a particular phrase or um, meaning. But we'll just go with person and we'll search. Now this will bring up every act that has person in it. Income Tax Act, there's 11,000. Uh, all the different acts, Immigration Act, 3,000. So there's, based on that, that's a quick way to find out how many acts have that person in them. Now when we get down to the bottom here, you'll, you'll see that there are numerous acts with uh, person in them. So th that's an alternative way of searching if you're unsure. Right now, if you go, if a particular act concerns you, now there's certain words I can't say because I don't want this video removed and I want to, to try and help as many people as I can. But if you just uh, freeze the video and read through that act, uh, section 20 of that particular act, uh, you will know where to look for certain questions, but you will also have a lot of the uh, questions answered that may be worrying you when you read through that particular part there. And I'm not going to read through it because I don't want um, this to be picked up. So I've taken a screenshot of that act and there are certain parts in there that you may want to be writing questions to the Director General of. Okay, now I do apologize. My, um, my hard drive or the fan on my computer kicks in. So if there's a bit of background noise there, uh, I'm sure the rest of the video is good enough for you to um, to forgive me for that. So hope this uh, helps you on your journey and uh, you start writing some letters and start helping other people on this great awakening that is happening at this very moment. Thank you very much.